This is the story of how I bought my dream car on the other side of Europe. This is yours, man. Happy. Bunch of friends driving 50 hours over 2,000 kilometers road trip in a 37 years old car through seven countries with one mission to bring my dream car home. Enjoy watching. What is your dream car? I really hate the question. Every time I hear the question, I know I'm gonna have to explain because my dream car is something that most of the people won't understand. The whole story starts about 12 years ago when I was in high school. I discovered the initial D and it pushed my interest towards Japanese cars, drifting and mostly that old little Toyota. And to be honest, I got a bit obsessed with this car, but at the time I didn't really have money to buy any car, not talking about something so rare. For the past 10 years, I was dreaming about having this car with the hope that one day I will be able to buy it. Lately though, the prices of those cars went so high that I kinda gave up on that dream. Instead, I bought other Japanese car with pop-up headlights. My little Mazda had a couple things in common with my dream A86, so I was really happy about that. And my dream of owning A86 slowly faded away. Every now and then, when we went to Japan, Ireland or US, I saw the car and it sparked something inside me. I always smile seeing this car and, and every time I saw it I always thought that maybe maybe one day this is such a perfect car man my favorite car maybe one day it's great and today is the day good morning it's 5.30 in the morning I'm in London and I'm taking train to the airport and from the airport I'm flying to Dublin Ireland to buy my dream car enter watching Okay, made it, Ireland. Very windy, very cloudy and rainy as always in Ireland. And now in the airport, I'm gonna meet someone that came here to take this journey back with me. Because obviously I'm not gonna drive alone those 2,000 kilometers in a car. No, there's help. Shimano! Jak tam? And now me and Nadash, we ordered the taxi and taxi driver said he's coming now. Yeah? Look at that. Yo! Hey! You're the taxi, you're the taxi driver? Yeah! Cool! Cool! cool. Hey, man. Fucking traveling style! Hey. Hey. What's going on? Nice to meet you! This is Neil, owner of Juicebox. Probably the most underrated car content creator on YouTube. Neil has such a big passion and dedication for what he does, especially for his car. The story of Neil and his A86 is super interesting. If you don't know it, I highly recommend go checking it out. A couple weeks ago I asked Neil on Instagram if there's any A86s for sale in Ireland. And he found me one that looked very promising. So without thinking much, I transferred money to one Irishman that I didn't know anything about. He dropped the car to Neil's place and I guess watch the video till the end to see what happens after. Okay, so we made it. We're here. Where are we? We are at Flip's Shed for the grand unveiling of your new car. Wow. I'm excited for you. Are you excited? I am, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Come on in. Yeah, let's, let's see it. it. I will not do the door reaction. Josh is in here, so. Uh, I haven't used this car in a while. That's a big shed. When you send me the pictures, like good quality pictures, yeah. I already like. I know because the pictures were so, so shit. Yeah, the I pictures from this guy. Get good photos for you. So. It's clean though, like. Yeah, it is. Like, it looks way better when it's not uh, full. It was cool dust. shit. Like, it really wasn't nice. Like there's a few little weird things, like they've. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told me about Just it. Just a few it's things not... you're like, oh. Oh, and that's from the wing. Yeah. And I didn't put the juice box stickers on it. They it were was all, on there. all over. They're everywhere. Like, yeah. From years ago, like 10 years ago, there's one on the roll cage there, there's one there, there's one on the other side, there's one fucking oh. here. So let I wasn't, them, I wasn't let them stay there. Let them stay there then. <laughs> I was also wondering about the chrome, uh, the, the trim. So the chrome trim is actually under the trim. So all 86s have this underneath. So I think Toyota meant to do this. Oh, and then they, they, they put the rubber in it. And they went, oh shit, like we need the car to look modern. So they put this over. But this is under every 86 trim. It's under this as well, like. Oh, cool. It's weird. 
Oh. Wow. I'm happy for you, and it's great. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad like, to see this car in real life. Every time I see this car in real life, I get excited. Yeah. And like, I don't even feel like this is my car. <laughs> I know, I know how that feels. Because like, okay, I'm like that with my one. I'm like, oh, is this actually mine? Shaking. I put back in the dash for you and stuff. Yeah. And then I put all the leftover shit in this box, but this was all like fucking everywhere. It's actually a small car, to be honest. It is, man. Yeah. Yeah. I like, like I said, I never even sit in one. Yeah, do fucking enjoy. <laughs> and it's nice that I had the interior and shit. Man, you are so lucky. They never come. Most 8.6s, like that has no rear seats, no not. Every 8.6 oh. is just like stripped out with a cage. Cage? Yeah, the cage is beautiful. It's a Cusco cage. Oh, is it? Yeah, look, Safety 21 Cusco fucking cage, like. So it would have been the most common cage to come with these, like. It's really nice. But this is all the fancy, like, this only came in the fancy spec, like, all the, mm -hmm. the center console and that, like. It's and, brown, right? Yeah, brown, and, brown red. and red. Yeah. Because brown and red came in the initial D car and came in the Panda, so all mm -hmm. the Pandas were brown mm -hmm. and red, all the early specs. It's fucking cool, man. We all love it, so. Yeah. We brought the steering wheel. Yeah, I was feeling you do that because yeah. that's that's not great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm buzzing, for you, man. I just, you know, I love these cars, and I like seeing other people get excited about them. Okay, the first thing we need to do with this car is change this <laughs> this ugly steering wheel. We actually brought our E30 steering wheel, which is a good old Nardi that should work nicely with the car. On, Josh. There's a, a bit of situation. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> we need to start drilling. One of them is fake Already? and the other yeah. one is. <laughs> oh, we're off to a great start. <laughs> you picked the best wheel ever as well. It's like. No, do it like I had it for like, like two years. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fitting. Yeah. Did you guys check the alignment? Is it okay? Does it go straight? Yeah, it goes yeah, forward. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it goes forward, <laughs> it goes forward yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was this connected? Yeah, we'll yeah. give that a little tighten before we go. This is uh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's a lot of interesting uh, stuff. Stuff. Yeah. That's why we didn't want to go too far here. No. And we tried to fix for you. So, if like, it works, just leave it, yeah, leave it so alone. People yeah. are probably going to like say something about all this, but we just wanted to get your headlights working. So mm. everything is just a quick fix to get you back home. I mean, this look, you have any Japanese car, it looks like this. Yeah, it does. Much. This is pretty much, pretty much normal. extremely Japanese looking yeah. car. So. But uh, it's beautiful, man. So Neil. Yes, what's going on? You found me this piece of beauty. Yeah, I'm happy you like this. Yeah, I love it. Because what's really funny is like last week you messaged me and you were like, hey, I want to buy an 8.6. And I was like, holy shit, man, perfect timing. Because this car had just gone up for sale. And like Trunos are rare in Ireland because most people like the, the Levin because they like the rally style. So you rarely see Trunos for sale in Ireland. So like you told me you wanted a Truno. But you wanted the hatchback one, but they're like... Right, ideally, but... Yeah, but they're insane money, and people here don't necessarily sell them, so... This is pretty awesome, man. Like, it's a, a two-door. It's perfect. Truno, and it's early spec. So it's like, you know, and I guess initial D specification, but with the, with the boot on it, so... Yeah, we, we found out, like, Neil found out uh, a bit later than we bought it that it's actually pretty good spec. It's yeah. a GT Apex, right? Yeah, it's GT Apex, which is the best grade. So this would have came... Uh, Panda from factory it would have been uh, white over black and you can tell because of the bronze glass so only the bronze glass came in the top model so like top model means like it would have came with air condition power steering and like there's options for like uh, electric windows and the later spec ones and stuff but like a little bit fancier but not that much fancier like it's a it's a super nice because me buying a car I didn't even know if it was an import or it was an Irish car or whatever what spec it was I only knew that it was an 86 yeah. with the 4 AGE yeah. and it turned out after we bought it it turned out that it's actually pretty pretty good car yeah it's and a also GM. it was oh sorry you go it's fine it's fine also um, it was the cheapest 86 to sell in Ireland it was this is the cheapest 86 that was for sale at the time in Ireland like they usually sell for like 18 thousand euros to like 20 thousand euros but you got this for a good price so you yeah. got very lucky I think. Because we all love this car and it has like nice wheels and it's got nice parts, roll cage. It has, it's an excellent base to, you know, it's all the things I would want on a Street 86. Yeah. So. And you said some of the boys uh, had to look at it as well, right? Yeah, all of us have looked at it. We had it on the lift. Every one of us wanted to buy it. I had to talk Josh out of buying it because he needs to buy a car for work. And then Flip was kind of like, oh, fuck. So when this car came here, then we all fell in love with it. And then we had to wash it for you because it came down covered in shit. Like, and we were kind of sad. I wanted you to like be excited yeah. about this when you got here. So. And all the pictures, all the... 
all the pictures we got from previous owner, yeah. it was like without half interior and very dirty car and like, and now it just looks so, so much better Yeah, we well. put it all back. I, I honestly wanted you, because you told me that this is one of your dream cars, I wanted you to come here and get excited about this car, so yeah. we all made it look nice. And it does, it looks fucking cool. Yes. It's a Truno, like it's... Yeah. And you told me there's only like one Truno in Poland, maybe? Yeah, like, yeah. So like, like, look at this, like, we take this stuff for granted because our friends have all these cars and they're everywhere. But like, for this to be one of your dream cars and to know that there's like, basically none of these in Poland. Like, nope. that's, that's awesome, man. I'm happy that I could be a part of this for you. Like, it's yeah. great. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you course, for all man. the help, man. This is like, this is heaven for me being around any type of N86. I just get excited by it. Well, so. you're going to be around in it for uh, quite a time now. Yeah. Because uh, we didn't say it in the video, but we are driving this car back Poland, which is 2,000 kilometers. Uh, me and Adam, and then Neil said, I'm going to go with you. Yeah, so. why not? Hey, look, any adventure, even though it's going to be... Uh, miserable. Miserable, <laughs> but <laughs> I just love misery in 8.6s. So, like, what a good time. Like, I mean, that's a great story that we can tell in a few years. Like, I'm 100% up for it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So, the car actually has a pretty cool, uh, a lot of pretty cool bits. But I think this we're going to show when we are back home so I can focus and sit on it. And, yeah, of course. And uh, I think now we can uh, take it out and see it in... So it's kind Something of sunny, like, yeah. yeah. Traditional yeah, yeah. Irish weather where it's sunny and cloudy at the same time and also raining. So, But uh, I think you should go out and just enjoy it. At least get, man, you, you need to drive. You haven't even driven yeah. this car yet. I can drive out. Let's drive it out. For me, it's super like, I don't really feel, I, I love this car, but I don't really feel like this is my, my car. I that's know how the, that feels. The problem, you know, probably still, after yeah. those 27 hours, maybe, when I say in my place. <laughs> or you'll want to sell it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's surreal. Yeah, eight sixes are hardcore, so like... Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to get to know this car very intimately after 27 hours of driving it. So yeah, cool. But like at the end of the day, man, it's a it's a Toyota Corolla. Like, so like, let's hope it gets us there. It's quite basic. Let's yeah. touch wood for superstition. <laughs> not superstitious, but I'm not taking any chances. Let's see. Let's see how this clip uh, gets old in yeah. a couple let's, couple of days. Yeah, you got it, man. Drive it out. Cool. Yeah, let's If you want let's me to it. film you driving it out, or if you want to drive it out yourself with a camera, let me know. Yeah, whatever. I think I can yeah. start it like this. Yeah, 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 go for it. I'll turn the battery on, so. Yeah. That's all your stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, the first impression of the car, it's really, really small. It's like, it's like my Miata. I think it may be even smaller. And also, I never sat in this car before, in N86. I saw it one hour ago, but that was my first time in this car, so. This is all initial, initial feelings. Man, this wheel... I know, good I'm so that we happy it. you brought this wheel because yeah. the other wheel is just a sad Chinese wheel and like I think just an original Nardi in an 8.6 is the ultimate look like yeah
Okay, the car is back here at the shed. Um, I'd like to tell you how I feel, but I'm just speechless at the moment. So I think um, I'll try to say something later. For now, we're just gonna leave it here and we're gonna go just goofy around with the boys, probably see the other shed. And tomorrow morning we are leaving in this car. We are driving, we're taking ferry from Ireland to UK. We're driving through the UK. We're taking tunnel to France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, picking up Kevin and to Poland. What can possibly go wrong? I guess you'll find out in this video. Like, they always work. My god. I'm just obsessed with small wheels. This is the ultimate A6. It's supercharged as well. Came in from Japan like this. So we're gonna drive in and uh, bolt check the car and put a fresh petrol in it so it don't break tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna check if there's an uh, port that we can charge a phone. If it works, then yeah. yeah. Hey, our it works. Oh. The plan was simple. We start in Ireland, drive to the ferry, take a ferry to Wales, go through Wales to England, pick up one thing in England, go take a train to France, then France, Belgium, sleep in Belgium, go to Germany to pick up Kevin from Essen and drive to Poland. All that in 37 years old Toyota Corolla. What can possibly go wrong? Good morning from Neil's mother's bedroom. We are ready to go, it's 5 a.m. Let's go catch a ferry to England. They're funny little fuckers. Buddy, yeah, Buddy and Bonnie. Is that the names? <laughs> yeah. Buddy and Bonnie. Yeah, Buddy and Bonnie. Yeah. Do you want to treat? And that one's <laughs> just boil. So, good spot. No? No, you're fucking useless this morning, alright. Happy doggos. Happy doggos. Yes. So the stuff in the boot, I guess. Okay, let's hit the road. Uh, the first part of the journey should be easy. It's just one hour driving to the ferry, and Neil is gonna drive first because he knows his roads and and all. The drift spot. The drift spot, yeah. There you go, man. Oh, cool. The back seat's actually quite comfy. Yeah, boy. Ireland, that's one of seven countries. Made it through Ireland, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, we're a bit early, but it's better to be early than... Yeah, like, just in case. Let's 
getting bright. Yeah, it is quickly. Might get a nice sunrise if there's clear skies. Yeah. The car has some issues. <clears throat> um, we knew the car had some issues. Um, we don't really know what it is. It sounds like either a petrol issue, maybe some dirt in a um, in a fuel tank, or some electrical issue. There's a lot of cables being uh, connected with like by someone who maybe didn't know what he's doing or. You know, the connection can be bad, it's just an old car, so hopefully um, the car just makes a weird noise, like misfiring every now and then, but, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It's Toyota, I should, should make it though. Okay, the car works again. Yes, the car did not work for a minute and we could have been stranded right when we were getting on the ferry. <laughs> Typical 86 fucking misery, man. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the misery club. We'll, we'll know every little trick by the end of the trip. You'll be yeah. like, oh, if you do this, this works. And pray first. <laughs> We made it this far. We made it to the, ferry. Out to the boat. So. Now three hours on the ferry and then on to England. Yes. We were uh, sleeping with the boys, but now I woke up and let me tell you about three things that worries me about this trip First thing is pretty much nothing. I just feel sick and it's not about the sea or anything It's just yesterday. I felt very cold and over the night I had a fever and also my throat is not too good So the first thing is that I'm not in the best shape health-wise, which is a bit of a bummer because this is super exciting and I cannot find the energy to like enjoy it fully, but uh, second thing is the car and as you probably noticed already, the car has an issue, like we don't really know what exactly it is. So the car is driving perfect until just out of nowhere it just goes into this weird mode where it's misfiring and that. And all you need to do is just kind of reset it. So reset the ignition, start it again, it just works fine again. So it's not a, it's not a big deal for now, but we only, you know, we only drove for like one and a half hour and it happened three or four times and the third thing and this one actually scares me the most is that um, we don't have insurance for the car because like in Ireland you need to insure it for the person not for the car like I called my insurance guy in Poland but he said they cannot insure the car on Irish plates so we are pretty much driving without insurance which is a bit sketchy you know if they stop us in like England or Germany there might be a, it might be an issue but, but the way to do it properly would be to stay in Ireland here until Monday so two more days probably like go to the city office or whatever and ask for like some exporting number plates or whatever and try to get insurance just like a lot of documents and stupid law so we're just gonna try to get back home without getting into trouble excited and scared at the same time What happened? She doesn't like this place. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just conked out. Everything was fine and gone. Starter. She want to go back to Ireland? Yeah. It's sad that it's leaving. Okay. 
Try now. I found the problem. What's yeah. the problem? Ground? Oh no. One thing is disconnected and it's the main plus for starter. So is this on the starter? Yeah. It's popped yeah. off. Uh, this is more important. Yeah. No. Yeah, so we are like in the middle of Wells, which is... I don't know, we maybe did 200 kilometers of driving and the car has some issues. We found a lot of like electric issues that it looks like someone did a very dodgy electric job. Maybe back in Japan or here, I don't know, but... Thankfully we broke down next to a bunch of places to sell car parts. That's true, that's true, yeah, it's just some car shops here. the luckiest place ever. We could have broke down in the countryside. We broke down in the best place ever. Back on the road. We are back at it. Let's see what happens. What are you saying, Neil? How's the drive? It's amazing. My feet are toasty because we're trying to keep it cool, but uh, somehow. We got it working. I yeah. don't know what we did, but cable ties seem to have solved the issue. The car is, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx this, but like everything is going it's good. good so it's far. Good, yeah. It's Neil is driving now because he's an Irishman, this is an Irish car, and the insurance is a bit tricky. So yeah. easy to explain if an Irish guy is driving the car. So yeah, so, uh, yeah you can take over there in Europe. That's true. So I bought some cables, and if this works, we should have, uh, should have music. We got the vibe, man. Look. It's not like 4AG is not good music enough, but... We got the f***ing vibe. The vibe. I'm feeling it. Just press some random... Oh! Oh, there you go. Oops. Nice. It works. The back one so works. this then? Is this good Watch music or is this the... This is this is cool. This is this is Dream Sun. This is the guy that makes music like we use this music for our videos. Oh, nice. He's a super cool guy from cool. Australia, yeah. Shout out Dream Sun. <laughs> Okay, a bit of an update video, Neil. What what is this? So this is f***ing hilarious. That's what this is. So you've collected over fenders for your 32, and we are bringing them with us in possibly the smallest car ever. For the job. But you know what? We've got all the luggage. You got Christmas presents. We've got everything. Yeah. We bought Hot Wheels. We've got f***ing <laughs> R32 over fenders. This car can do everything. Yeah. So I bought these like a couple weeks ago, but the shipping was super expensive to Poland because UK is out of EU now. So. Yeah, that's why we got this car actually. This whole mission was just to get these over fenders. Just bring them back to home. Yeah. Yeah. But these are for the skyline, yeah. So I hope we can... This just gets better and better and better. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what happens when we get to Dover. So Hope, be hopefully nothing big. Like, okay, <laughs> let's go. Off to Dover, yeah. uh, one and a half hour from here. Daniel. We are at the Euro Tunnel and it's windy. We're gonna take the tunnel that is under the La Manche Channel. So it's a channel tunnel. What's that? That is no. Yeah, it's like underwater a tunnel between England and France. Oh, let's confirm. You have no pets. Do you, um, anyone have a pet? You pet? Yeah. My pants. My pet? Maybe. Follow signs to the passenger terminal building. <laughs> I checked, we, okay. we left 16 hours ago, so it's 16 hours in the journey okay. and I... and we are crossing the border between England and France now, yeah. so it's three countries done, Ireland, Wales and England. Yeah. Or two, like, I don't know. Uh, how yeah, to count I guess it. they're different countries, but yeah. Morning. What? <laughs> it's cold, but the weather has been good, like no rain, no nothing. No, like. not yet. Not yet. Don't but, say uh, it. We're leaving England like yeah, that. And fun. England is usually pretty wet like. Yeah. Ireland was kind of wet the day before but 
feels okay. Yeah, it's like for me it's okay. It feels very weird, but everything goes like according to the plan. It's like yeah. a bit too, a bit too good, maybe. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't know, say it. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Not too bad, mate, sir. Good man, good, yeah. Good stuff. It's just a quick swab of the steering wheel. Yeah, of course, man. Go for it. Thank you. Is the vehicle yeah. yours? Uh, no, it's yeah, actually it's Sam's. Yeah, that's perfect. We're just fine. taking yeah. turns driving it, so. That's all right. Uh, everything inside belongs to yourself. Back yeah, to it does, yeah. Any weapons, no. firearms, anything like that? No, no. Lovely. Just yeah. wait out one moment. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, so we are on the train, it's almost midnight and um, we're gonna cross now the the channel between UK and France. So we're gonna be in France in half an hour. There's a car, no, we are in a car, the car is on a train and the train's gonna go under the water. Like people say go underwater, but we're actually going under the water. So under, under. Under, under, under the water. water. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. The future. In the train. In a train. In a twin cam. In a twin cam. Ba, 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 yeah. ba. <laughs> Let's get on the limit. <laughs> Welcome in the friends. Nice. We're in Belgium. I lost my voice like completely. It's good but to yeah. check it. And uh, yeah, tonight we're sleeping in Belgium because Marek is in Belgium and Boogie is in Belgium, Marek's family place. So we're just going, we're just going there. It's just two hours away from here. We're gonna drive there. Gonna be there at 4 a.m. We're gonna go sleep. So it was a long day. Toyota, you couldn't buy some nice new Audi or something? No, this is Polonis. Oh, Wind Polonis. Wind <laughs> Polonis, good. good. What's going on? How are you? How are you, Marek? Let's go sleep. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, hello. Boogie said he wants to have a ride in... Uh, in a Corolla. Are you excited about 120 horsepower? I'm excited about twin cam. So, well, it's cool. This car is. <laughs> it's it's small. It's small. It's fuck. Hey, that's maximum. I don't know. Just see it. It's fine. Yeah, the seat is a bit wobbly. I think, I think you broke it. No, I think it didn't go. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, like I said, all Toyota just. So the funny situation is that we try we tried to fix the seat after it was collapsing back and the piece that uh, hold the seat uh, to the chassis just fell off. It's like a metal piece welded with like... Wait, wait, <laughs> Look at this me... man, super Irish engineer in there, like, it's amazing. Yeah, so this was holding the seat to the car, but it broke off and we don't really have a welder on anything. Yeah, now the seat doesn't have any support. And the seat. So we're gonna fix this. Uh, Irish engineering with some Polish engineering. <laughs> Ta-da! Beautiful. 
Is this TUV certified? Yeah. Twin cam. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> fixed. Look, fixed. Man, if they no, stop us, if German police stops us on the way and like look into this car and into papers, we are like, they're gonna put us in jail. So hopefully nothing like this happens. We're going back home today. We need to pick up Kevin from Essen Motor Show and then we drive back home. Um, luckily, we're driving through Germany overnight. So I'm just hoping we, you know, we, we made it this far. We might as well maybe just stay out of trouble and make it safely home, hopefully. As long as we are here, I have good friends next to me, like, it's cool. Like, it's more than cool. To make it less stupid, we're just gonna spray paint the wood with, like, black paint. The German police. Cool. It's not novel, but this is all we have. I see you know a thing or two about some dodgy repairs. <laughs> no, just paint it all. Oh? All, yeah, so they won't see the wood. <laughs> yeah, see? Perfect. <laughs> Nothing to see here, policeman. It's good, man. Yeah. You don't even notice it. Yeah. See? I like it. I approve anyway. That's like, I mean, it's better than what was there, basically. So yeah. it's kind of the same thing. Same thing. You were going to die either way if you crashed, though. Okay, so we are almost ready to go. We're gonna, we're gonna take the 86 and our X5, and we are going to Essen Motor Show because it's on the way back home. <laughs> Drive to Essen was easy and without any surprises. Okay, uh, the update of the situation. We picked up Kevin from Essen. It's raining, so I didn't film anything. We just put the thing on that trailer and gonna go back straight home to Poland. And I think this will last like another 15 minutes. <laughs> Just popped up for a second yeah. here. I don't yeah, you, see, you see this? Mm. Yeah, After 48 hours, we left Neil's place for 50 hours ago, yeah, it's 8 o'clock, 50 hours ago, and then now this. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, I think we're gonna finish here now. We're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna probably be sleeping for the next 15 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Made it, boys. Hope you look miserable. Yeah, it's nice to be home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been a couple days. We had a proper sleep. You can see that the snow melted. Um, yeah, I think this is where we finish this video. There is a lot to talk about the car and everything, but this we'll cover in the next one. 
now we really need to rest and I really hope you guys enjoyed this journey with us what I want to say is thank you to all the boys in Ireland that sorted the car for me uh, for Neil, for Adam, Marek and all the boys that took the journey with me and, and yeah, made this all happen and to you guys that watch those videos because without you I would be still um, just a boy with a dream and now my dream is my dream is here standing behind me so thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next one Thank you.